think you need that for now. Cool. And come on, torch. Uh, we found a hole there where it got in. Okay. We blocked it off. Okay. You want us to open up here now? Yeah. yeah okay, so we'll open up Wellington. Wait, just tell me where it was. Like yeah, right at the back. Right at the back. You are taking out these poles. Yeah, I'm looking on the back here. Okay. You are in between those poles. Black like the pipe, you said that this pipe is telling me now. It's right at the back. I saw it at the corner as well. The head came up. And... Wonder he's living in here. It's nice and warm. <laughs> It was it's there, I know. There under the post this one. Because if I disturb it and it moves, I can hear where it is. Sometimes you hear them before you see them. Then I just want to get rid of this first. Oh. Looks like a blooming brown house snake. What it looks like? <laughs> looks like a little brown house snake. <laughs> I think. <laughs> unless that, unless that's not the snake. Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. Yeah. How fat is it? Fat like this plant. Like this. Yeah. 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 Wait, you know, there it is. Um, short to ask me. You can come right close if you want. Definitely got a cobra. See, she's full of food. What is it? It's the brown house snake. <laughs> hey, snake. I haven't got the best lighting in here. It's probably going to strut towards the camera. <laughs> oh, are you really going to bite me? Yeah. <laughs> Shame, she's us, us, us cold. Obviously, during the night, this metal container gets freezing. She literally feels like ice. As you can see, she's eaten quite well. There's a meal there, just in front of my... Just here. You can see she's a bit distended there. That'll be a rat. She doesn't bite. 
They do, but they kind of pick up on your vibe. And if you're not harming them and you're not making them scared, <laughs> then they often don't. She's probably enjoying my warm hands, to be honest. I mean, I'm even like knocking her face. You know, and even that's not making her want to bite me. So she's a very chilled snake. So if it bites you, what, what happens? You just get... Just punctures. <laughs> it It'll just make you bleed. It'll so have several little tooth punctures, but no <laughs> effects at all. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sure, that's what I meant to say. I didn't mean any pun there, but it's chilled in more ways than one. <laughs> cool, we could take it outside and make it have a better look. And then I'll... He's quite, he's quite accurate, he says it's about as fat as the pole. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. See, she's got some battle scars. They often do these big house yeah. snakes. Because remember when they're big, the bigger they are, the bigger the rat is that they can take. And when they take a big rat and they wrap it up in their coils, they very often get bitten. So that's either a rat bite or maybe he cut himself going through something like metal or barbed wire fence. Or he looks quite healthy. Very healthy. Yeah. Very, very fat. Let me show the scar. The scar. Yeah. So that, when that happened, would have been quite bad, yeah. that little wound. But snakes heal up amazingly well. As long as no internal organs yeah. are damaged, they yeah, well, are pretty I, I, hardy. That's what the way you're handling it, it's not attacking you. Yeah. So they don't really attack you. Huh? No, they don't. Even they snakes don't. like mambas. Don't attack Even you. snakes like mambas, if, you, if they've got the opportunity to get away, yeah. that's what they do. The only time you... You know, you maybe get bitten is when you've really been interfering, trying to mm -hmm. harm it. It's trying to get away, and the more it's trying to get yeah. away, the more you're exposing it's it. Exposing, and yeah. Then they get a bit scared and defensive. But they usually do bite me when I first grab them, you know, because they're scared. But this, this snake is very chilled. Very, very chilled. So they're constrictors, so it's like a python. Mm -hmm. They eat, um, well, they kill their prey item by grabbing it and throwing coils around it and squeezing it to death. So it's a constrictor. It's just, just like a little miniature python. And they're nocturnal. I mean, they, they move around at night time. During the day, they sleep. Hey, girl. And I know it's a girl simply by the size. Because oh. the male house snake doesn't even get half the size. You'll max out at about 60, 70 centimeters. Oh, she's maxed out her size as well. Uh, she can get a little bit bigger. And the male? Yeah, he gets maybe 70 centimeters. She'll get like 1.2 even. Mm. 1.2 meters. So she's pretty old. She's probably, probably a 10, 12 year old snake <gasps> or more. Hey girl, you are so chilled. Yeah. And that's why there's no rats in the container. Because yeah. she just sits here. Yeah. And she she probably sits right here at night time. Mm -hmm. Right where this little hole is. Mm -hmm. She probably just coils up there and waits. And every time a rat, she grabs it. Yeah. Very effective rat control. The natural way. <laughs> so you want to keep her? To eat your rats. <laughs> Such cool snakes. <laughs> Let's put her in a bag. Since they don't want her, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Dust off your face. The dust of your palm. Okay. You see better now. 
Yeah. It's harmless, so we don't have to take it a million miles away. But we will take it off the premises for yeah. you. <laughs> I'll probably just go up the road to the, the landfill. There'll be lots of rats there. Okay, sneaky. Found it a nice place here where um, there's a lot of garbage around, which doesn't look nice, but it's actually the perfect place for a house snake like this because places like this where people dump is gonna be home to a lot of rats, so she'll get a lot of food out here. Here we go. So chilled. Not even in a hurry to get away. I'm gonna just take it from here and just do this. Just so I can see that. I don't know if it'll focus that close there. Bye! Have fun!